Hello, everybody. Good morning. We are back with another episode, and this might be a quick video. Um, we're going to cover something that hasn't got too much attention recently, probably because gas fees are absolutely insane, but something that Pondware has introduced, which has been a trend in the NFT world for quite some time, and that is Mooncat Name Service. And what is Mooncat Name Service? Well, we're going to find out. And at the end of this video, I'm actually going to claim a subdomain for Mr. Moo. I have not done this yet, so we're all going to explore this video together as noobs in the digital frontier. So this was announced October 13th, which was a little over a month ago from the time of this recording. Introducing the Mooncat Name Service, a free .eth domain for all Mooncats. Each Mooncat can claim two domains one referencing its rescue order and one with its hex ID, also known as the Mooncat DNA, which represents how it looks, which always point to the wallet address it owns. They go on to say where you could claim it and why Mooncats have decided not to chip their humans, which we will cover that here in a second. And as we could see from the lore, what, Mo what Pondaware loves to do is they give an FAQ and then they give a little update in the lore storied and magical fashion that they always do. Now with partial consent of their Ethereans, which is us, Mooncats are able to quickly identify their owners using their C order number from the rescue mission. For example, number zero dot is my mooncat.eth can be used to establish the Ethereum that belongs to that particularly spirit Mooncat. Once again, peace on the station has been restored. However, brief it will prove to be. PSA, please disregard the previous bulletin. Chain station Ethereans and staff are not required to report to the medbay for microchipping. Bulletin system access has now been restricted to level three terminals and above. It's basically saying you're not required to claim a subdomain, but there may be some benefits in the future that Ponderware will introduce. Sorry, I had to throw my phone because it keeps vibrating. So Ponderware always does a good job at incentivizing people to participate in the ecosystem, as we see with Mooncat Pop and Loot Prints and then Sports Ball and all of these other features that come into play. Regardless of whether you think it adds value or not, it makes the system quite fun to participate in. But at the time of this recording, as gas, gas fees are currently, let's find out, over 100, about, let's see. Gas fees are 129. So this is going to make this transaction quite expensive. But in the spirit of fun, Mr. Moo needs a name, right? He needs a subdomain. We need to find out where he is. Right now, he's currently in Las Vegas experiencing a fun time. Who knows what else can happen? Um, so Cat Dad and Mr. Moo are hanging out in Las Vegas, as this is where I am from. All right, let's cover more of what this means. So here's the FAQ. What is Mooncat Name Service? Known as MCNS for short, it allows you to claim an ENS domain beginning with your Mooncat ID. So it's actually a subdomain we found out. I couldn't find the post, but Ponderware owns dot is my Mooncat dot ETH. And so then you have the ability through ENS to create subdomains. And a cool thing that Ponderware did with the ENS drop that just happened recently, um, they were given, it was like 200, 200 ENS. They actually distributed it to the, it was like about 100 uh, Mooncat owners who had claimed domains for their Mooncats. So pretty good. Um, and participation um, in the spirit, yes, there is about 5,100 acclimated owners because this is only for the acclimated wrapper, not for the unofficial wrapper. Keep that in mind. There's 6,800 owners across unwrapped and both unofficial wrappers, but all activity and developments happen on the official wrapper. And what acclimated means, it's just a marketing tactic. It was just meant to help people understand when transitioning from the unofficial wrapper to the official wrapper. Um, it'll be dropped at some point in time, hopefully. Um, so what is the ENS domain name? For those that don't know, it's a website URL for Web 3.0, just like you see .com, .eth is the future. Right now, the primary application for ENS domains is to 
stamp it onto your wallet address. So instead of that little public key that you have, you can just say jake.eth, that's my address, and send it to me there. Eventually, you'll have web pages and other things. So I'm assuming if there's web pages, you'll that you can have a web page for um, your subdomains and everything so forth, but that's just my speculation. So is this a real ENS domain? You bet your ass it is. Wallet and websites that recognize ENS names should detect this new one pointing to your wallet once you announce it. The only difference between this and the standard ENS is we've locked it as such that it only points to the address that holds a specific Mooncat. And the reason why I think they did this is because with Mooncats, right, they're originally ERC-20, and then you have the unofficial wrapper and the official wrapper. Um, so between three different marketplaces, and then you combine NFT-20 and NFT, NFTX and all these different pools and stuff, the cats can be dispersed across many different marketplaces and eventually metaverses. And so having an ability to find where the cat is and in what wallet um, will become a little bit more of a convenience in the future. Um, as, as the things that are introduced, you have to think in the long-term scale um, and not just the rapid price appreciation because we're in this for the long term. Am I eligible? Yes, as long as it's acclimated, you just have to pay gas and we're gonna do that here in a second. I have an official an official acclimated wrapper. Cat, now what? Head to the Moocat name service, connect. 96 Genesis, your pick of litter, your .eth domains have been activated already. Wow, so if you have a Genesis cat, they already activated it for you. Congrats to um, that exclusive club. You win again, my friends. The first time a Mooncat goes through the process, you'll be adding the Mooncat's ID numbers to the registry. Simply registering a .com domain once claimed, it'll point to address. We already went over that. How do I use the Mooncat name service? Here's probably a question everyone has and myself. Um, so you head to it, connect Web3, which we're about to do in a second. Your Mooncat will be listed in order of Mint ID. And that means if you owned a Mooncat, if you own Mooncat 47, one sixty five twenty two blah blah blah. They will be listed as such. Once your wallet's connected, you'll be announcing it to the Mooncat service page. You can choose to claim up to twenty at a time, and then you're registered. I bought a Mooncat from the former owner that claimed it. Do I get the domain? Can I get it back? Absolutely. So I'm assuming once you transfer it or sell, um, you have to re-announce it again because it's moved to a different wallet. So I would assume at this point in time, probably just claim the ones that you tend to hold on for your dear life and cuddle for a long time. So, but a lighter gas action um, in succession will be um, prevalent. So what is announcing? It's a fancy way of just saying, of saying that you've claimed it as we go on is my mooncat.eth domain, similar.com. And then, so you can further customize your mooncat's domain domain. I really speculate in the future that mooncats will eventually, certain mooncats will have their own communities formed around them, as you see with the .eth and um, the marketing that goes around it and integration into to media and literature. And then you have collectibles like mooncat pop and boutique items. Um, some of these will eventually have large communities and maybe fractionalized or whatever things happen in the future. I don't know, this place just moves so fast. So here we are, you can see my cats in the order. I'm just gonna click, I'm not gonna actually claim this, but I'm gonna show you guys, I don't think it's gonna show the MetaMask on here, but it pops up because of my sh screen sharing services um, that's on this. So it's actually loading. Um, but basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have to mute it here for a second. Um, all right, $2,000 to claim, which is 0.46 to claim 20 Mooncats or announce it. So obviously I'm going to reject that because we are in a time and place where gas fees are really high and um, I'm not trying to do that for fun, but I will take, I will bite the bullet and pay. I don't know. What is it? Probably a hundred bucks or 200 bucks to claim one for Mr. Moo because Mr. Moo is not going anywhere anytime soon. And I would eventually do it for number 10 because I will be holding on to both of these for a long time as I have many, many plans on how we want to do this. All right, guys. So I'm going to have to unplug the mic here in a second and I'll fast forward and we'll figure out what happens right after this so you could see it. So uh, give me one, one sec and um, we're going to give Mr. Moo a domain.
All right, guys. Back. That cost $127 at the time of this recording, which was about 0.03 ETH. And so right now, not for the faint of heart. Also, make sure you have a Ledger, Trezor, hardware wallet. That's why I had to unplug it to make sure that I prove it because of all the scams that are happening out there in the world. So we're going to see how long it takes in the current state of gas wars and ETH 1.0. Hopefully this video will age really well, but we're announcing, we're waiting, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So maybe I should just cover some other things. ENS domains, pretty awesome. Subdomains, I don't know. I'm still experimenting. I really have no idea where this is going. Um, I just I have a lot of faith in, in the team. I like utility. Some people are not fans of utility for historic projects. Um, I talked with Adam McBride, who's a archaeologist in the NFT space. Um, if you go to my podcast on this page, you can see the conversation that we discussed about introducing utility to historic projects. Could they ruin the project? He agrees, yes. Some people agree, yes. So could this ultimately all backfire? I don't believe so. Some people may think differently, but I like being out on the frontier. If anything that I've learned and that you guys should learn, especially from the ENS drop, is that if you go out and explore things, then you're probably going to be rewarded at some point in the future. Retroactive rewards are very, very popular in the crypto space. Like very, very popular. So make sure to explore. You're going to burn some money along the way. But for many of these ENS people who just raked in, you know, 50K, 100K, some are even 200K. I think that's the cost. I think that reward is worth more than just burning, you know, a few hundred dollars maybe even a thousand to go explore some of these new adventures that are introduced into the crypto space. So um, that's just kind of my thought. That's why I did the Mooncap Pop DAO and all these other things. All right, I'm gonna have to speed this transaction up because I'm tired of waiting. So uh, give me a second again. All right. Number six is my mooncat.eth, Mr. Moo. Here we are. One has been announced. Capture it. What happens from here? I have no idea. Uh, maybe you guys can comment on it and understand it. But here we go. That is the lore. And now maybe if I go back, we can see what is happening in the world of Mr. Moo. Oh, he just disappears. Maybe there's like something at the bottom where there's an announce. Oh, there he is. Mr. Moo, six is it, and this is my domain. So let's see if I could punch this into um, Etherscan and see if something happens. Here we go. We're all exploring this together. So if this doesn't work, um, don't don't yell at me or get mad at me. I don't know. There he is. Resolved to this address. Oh, there it is, my address. So there you go. Just happened one minute ago. This is the utility, guys. This is uh, this is groundbreaking. Gotta love it. All right, here we are. That's the controller, um, and there is me. Points to my address. So here we are, Mr. Moo. You can now always be discovered, even when you're out here in Las Vegas. Thank you guys for being patient and learning with me. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And uh, this is Cat Dad tuning out, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.